for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. So basically for the present time, we got this interesting Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Now this Seven of Swords, it's showing someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. It could mean prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If, however, you sense that someone is spying on you, you could be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who is giving you cause for concern, you just might want to rethink that impulse or resist the impulse. Because we know everyone deserves privacy. So it's paired with the Knight of Pentacles, which is about messages. Could be regards to money and finance. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, it's money, cash, coins, finance. So you could be receiving some news that you've been waiting on. And it will be good news with this Knight of Pentacles. The Knights is a practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your lives. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, then the big things usually fall into place. Well, the night it asks you to take a look at how you're handling your affairs. So basically coming up, present time in June, could be before June, but this reading is for June. Um, you got the Seven of Swords and Knight of Pentacles. So with these cards two with their with these two cards paired together, I'm picking up that hmm, somebody could be watching you with the Seven of Swords. Somebody got their eyes on you. And it looks like they're coming in slow and steady. Yeah, so this is not this is actually not a bad stalker. They want to come in slow and steady, slow and steady, and they're the stable type. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is. So somebody could be wanting somebody slow, steady, and stable could be rushing in to make an offer towards you. But they're they're watching you first. Yeah, they want to make sure. They want to make sure. They're keeping, their, they're keeping tabs on you. But it doesn't seem like a bad a bad thing. Because the knight is a very... It's a good card in the tarot. So we'll clarify these two cards more. When we check... When we check out what the rest of the reading has to say. So for now we'll move on to... If you're dealing with someone how they see you. So they see you like the Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Now this Two of Wands is about keeping your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. It indicates a partnership with someone else. It could be business, personal, or it could be both. So it's about staying mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. And if you're feeling out of balance, just know that they're about to get sub substantially better. So try to keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So they see you as possibly having two options, maybe two paths towards a future. Or... Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, possibly two paths towards the future or just planning to make a future with them. That's how they could see you. 
Now it's with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this Knight of Wands is showing a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. You're feeling charged up, full of energy, and you're ready to get things done. Your confidence is at a peak, and it helps reach towards any goals. Here we go again. This is about another message. Um, the nights are about messages, and they're positive. So things are better and more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So this Knight of Wands, you probably heard about him if you watch tarot a lot. Uh, this card, Knight of Wands, is known as the player. Very charming type. They're fearless, brave. They could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But anyway, since this is how they see you, Capricorns, they see you as like this um, Knight of Wands. A lot of in and out energy. Um, possibly, possibly a player. And because it's with this Two of Wands, like I said, Two of Wands could mean you have a couple of choices, a couple of options. So I'm picking up they see you as an in and out energy. And you have you have other choices or you could be in and out player type but you're you're ready to um, make this connection with them more balanced so it could kind of go either way so they could know that you uh, have other people or see other people and you're in and out but you're planning to like I said make the connection more successful yeah so it could, it, it's interesting because they could go a few ways now let's take a look at how you see them so you see them as five of cups and a ten of cups. So the five of cups, it's a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. You might ask yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? Um, are you going to cry over spilt milk? Because you see, if you can see the picture, there's five cups here. He's got two cups in his hand. And they're full. They're not empty and they haven't fall. They did not fall on the ground. And then there's three cups on the ground and everything is spilled out. So are you going to focus on the cups that are on the ground? Or are you going to focus on what you still have and get on with things? So you see them having some disappointment here. Some loss, some regret. But it's with the Ten of Cups, which is a very uplifting card in the tarot. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. It's not short of any cups. So it points to happiness in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a very good card. It speaks of happy, family life, even if you're single, to the overall being, to the general well-being that goes beyond you yourself, to include those that you're concerned about, most concerned about like your parents, siblings, children, pets, and much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled when you get this card in the reading. Great card to see regardless of any questions. So, looks like they were disappointed, but they're no longer disappointed. You see them as... Yeah, they're no longer disappointed. Now you see them as um, thinking this is a dream come true. Ten of Cups is a tops. Yeah. Ten of Cups, if you're in a relationship and it has not been made formal or commit, committed yet, and you hope that it comes to pass, take heart, it's coming. Don't sabotage things by causing problems where there really aren't any. So this connection could move to the next level. 
you see them, they were disappointed. They decided to not cry over the spilt milk. And now they're focused on this being a dream come true. And that's how you see them. So things turned around. Now, let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the magician here. No wonder. The magician is about manifestation powers. So you could turn anything around with the magician. And the four of cups is here. So let's start with the magician. It's about new beginnings and great expectations. It reminds us that we have a power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, though. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get manifestation powers. That's what we got here for the magician and why it's happening. And then Four of Cups about wishful thinking you see that man sitting on the grass it looks like he's at a park and he's just stuck in his head you can't see the picture i'm sure his hand is bleeding really bad but he's stuck he can't even get up to take care of his hand because he's stuck in his thoughts just wishing his life away so it reminds us to remember to pay attention to what is now and count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure to count your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it really has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So what we have here is um, some regret Okay, with this Four of Cups, some regret. Yeah. And then you, and then uh, we'll recap this reading now. So, yeah, why it's happening. There was some regret. And you saw your person as disappointed. Something happened. Uh, maybe... Yeah, something happened, but it looks like things turned around. Someone, someone decided to manifest positivity because your person realized that you're their, you're their ten of cups, and they see you or they saw you as an in and out type, a player type. But then they they. See See you as deciding to make this connection more balanced because you had options with this two of wands and for the present time we got this stopper card here yeah so they watched you it looks like your person or they saw you as a player so you must have just sit back and realize or you just decided to keep tabs on your person and try to figure out if they were the one because it looked like you you're deciding to choose your person because they see you see them they see you as a player and you see them as thinking you're their ten of cups and they're no longer crying over the mistakes that happen in this connection or with them they're no longer stuck in their head head they're manifesting new beginnings with you and but they see you as um, um, trying to stop the in and out energy okay and bring more balance into this connection because it looks like they they took time to well you or them took time to 
pay attention with the stalker card here and decide to make this connection more civil with the Knight of Pentacles. More stable. So there was some prob there probably was some stalking and spying. Maybe you or your person. Um could have been them because they had some regrets here. Maybe they found out some things. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a no a loud neighborhood and I get distracted doing these readings and I'm trying to stay focused. So just hang in there with me. Okay, so they either stalked, did some stalking, or you did some stalking and found out something. But, okay, they caused some regret and some disappointment, whatever was found out. Because people usually find out things when they stalk and put their nose in places where they probably don't belong. So some things were found out. It caused regret and disappointment. And then um, you see them or they see you as a ten of cups. It could be both of you. But they, they realize that you had some in and out type of energy. That player type of energy. But they, they see you as having potential. That you're willing to bring things into balance. And to focus on maybe just two. You and them. Because it's the Knight of Pentacles is here. And it's about being slow and steady and uh, civil. Not all over the place like the Knight of Wands. So, they see you willing to change. Yeah, but some things were found out. It caused some disappointment and regret. Now it looks like you two are trying to manifest new beginnings. So you're trying to work on it. This looks like a work in progress. Yeah, some type of situation or connection that's that's being worked on. And that's a good thing, it looks like. Because you got the Ten of Cups and everyone wants the Ten of Cups. And the Magician is all about manifesting new beginnings. And it could happen. It can happen with the Magician. But it's about taking action. Something was found out. Somebody put their nose in places where, they didn't, where it didn't belong. So it caused some problems, but, yep, the magician is saying, uh-uh, it can happen, we can make this work. So that's what's going on for the month, month of June for some of you Capricorns. So I hope you and your person work it out.